my fellow crocheters, it's Janet with CrochetPattersForBeginners.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Alright, let's get right into it. I'm pretty excited to offer this free pattern for you. We are going to make a chunky lariat bow tie scarf. So let's get started. What do we need? Okay, we need an N crochet hook, a, a 10 millimeter N. Um, if you if you have an N and it's not a 10 millimeter N, then you'll need to get a P or a 10 millimeter. Whatever it is, it just needs to be a 10 millimeter. You need a measuring tape. You need a pair of sharp scissors, and you need some chunky number five bulky yarn. Um, I just grabbed this at Walmart. I I like it a lot. It's a it's a good yarn. It's acrylic but it's not as shiny as acryl a lot of the acrylics are and it has a pretty good amount of ease and elasticity to it. Um, this is a, the Premier Serenity Chunky Yarn. Okay, so let's get started. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is there are just very simple stitches in here, okay? Um, we're gonna do a chain stitch and we're going to do a half double crochet stitch and then we're going to do a decrease where we uh, crochet two half doubles together and I'll show you how to do that when we get to that point but for right now we're just going to chain 13 so one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we've got thirteen stitches, thirteen chains, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a row of single crochet. So I'm sorry I said that we were going to do half doubles where we're going to do one roll of single crochet. So I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. That's just going to be our foundation chain. Now it's important that we just go loose with this because you know the first chain tends to be tight and then when we look at something it looks a little wonky because our first row was, uh, our foundation row was just a little bit tighter. So just loosen up, just crochet and relax. That's all you gotta do with this. All right, so this is the first chain from the hook. This is the second chain from the hook. Let's go into that second chain and let's just do a nice, Relaxed single crochet. Okay. Just relaxing and doing a single crochet. This is a really easy pattern. The pattern looks a little more sophisticated than what than than what the stitches are in it, and that's what how I like to design things. I like to make things that look nicer um, and more maybe more complicated than what they really are and I think it like helps people to stay motivated to want to crochet when something's easy and it goes fast and with this yarn and this hook you got it it's a, it's all there all in this pattern okay so I'm going to continue on with my single crochet again remember loosely not so loose that it looks wonky but you can see my stitches they don't look wonky I'm just Nice and easy stitches. Nice and easy single crochets. Okay. All right, over to our last one. Okay. So the first row is a row of single crochet. And up until we get to the next point in our scarf, it's just going to be half double. So we're going to chain two at this point, chain two, one, two, and we're going to turn. And we started out with a chain of 13, but now we have 12 stitches that we're going to be working across. So let's do our half double crochet into this row. And if you don't know how to do any of these stitches, no worries. Please visit our 
um, YouTube channel and you can get there by just typing in how to crochet videos dot com and that'll take you right to the YouTube channel it'll teach you how to do a chain stitch, it'll teach you how to do a slip knot, it'll teach you everything from the beginning that you need to know to make this pattern. All the stitches are, are right there. Okay, so we're just again continuing across our row here and we are just doing a half double crochet. All right. There we go. All right, now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. Okay, to get going on this pattern, to get us to the next step, go ahead and please do your 12 stitches. Make sure you've got 12 stitches across, okay? And that should give you six inches. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And I want you to continue on with half double crochets until you reach 20 inches. So just keep half double crocheting, get your tape measure out, and you'll be ready for the next step when you reach 20 inches, okay? All right, we'll see you when we get to 20 inches. Okay, so you have now 12 stitches across and you have your piece is 20 inches long and you measured it with your tape measure. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scarf and you're going to join your first row, that first row with the single crochet you're going to join that to this to this row that got you to 20 inches long. So again, we're six inches wide and we're 20 inches long and we're going to join this with a single crochet. So if you remember at the beginning, that's why we did one, we did um, one row of single crochet because we're joining this to form uh, what you would call an infinity infinity scarf whatever is a cowl how it, uh, it doesn't matter how you what you call it it's it's we're just making up a, a circle okay so what I'm also going to do right here is I'm going to show you how to just go right over this the your beginning tail so that you can cover that up and that way you won't have to weave it really easy peasy okay on the stitch that you're on right now, you turned, and I want you to chain one, just like you would if you were doing a single crochet row across. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we're going to join, okay, by just doing single crochet. Make sure you're getting both pieces in there. You're joining both pieces together, and you are just still only doing 12 stitches so it's important to count so so far we've got three and do you see how I'm just going right over that tail that's gonna help me like later on I won't have to weave that little sucker so now we've got one two three four single crochets and we're just gonna keep going till we get to our 12 going right over that that tail okay one two three four five both pieces six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we just did twelve single crochets. Now, before you go into anything else, go ahead and just give that just a little bit of a tug. Stretch out the stitches because you did join two pieces together. 
go ahead and trim off that tail with your scissors. Look at it. You just did it. You just made your life so much easier. You don't have to get a yarn needle now and weave that tail. Okay, so this is what you've done so far. You've done 12 stitches and you've done 20 inches long from the first row to the row that you stopped on to get to 20 inches. Now we're just going to keep going. So we've joined together. We now have, this is a circle and what this is guys is this is our bow. We're going to form our bow with this. Okay. All right, but let's just continue on so that we can finish the, uh, the scarf here. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to chain two, one, two, okay, and you want to turn, and you want to continue, I don't know how we got that thread in there, sorry about that, you want to continue on with half double crochets right into that joining single crochet that you just did that row of single crochet, so two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Okay. All right. So now we're just up against where we've gone past our joining row there. See, that was our, our single crochet. And now we just crocheted a row of half double. Let's lay down one more row and then I'll tell you how to finish the this portion of the pattern. Okay. So we're going to lay down one more row of half double. So we chain two and we turn our work and we just do a row of half double. I think you're really going to like this yarn. It's turned out to be something that I'm really like digging on actually. I like making chunky things because they go so fast and with this big hook it's it just it just gives you like you can make a bunch of these as gifts. I've already done that and people I've given them to so far are just they love them. So we're just doing our row of half double and again, we're working across 12 stitches. So if you're a beginner, always make sure, just go slow and make sure you're always putting in 12 stitches, otherwise your work's going to look silly. Okay, so now we've got two rows of 12 stitches, and you can see we're pulling away from that circle. Okay, and that's what we want. Okay, now, from here, if you need to, you can go ahead and put some stitch markers here. But um, you shouldn't have to. You, you should be able to see where this is right here, uh, where it's joined. See that? It's, you know, I, don't, I don't think you need a stitch marker. If you do, if you want to, just put a stitch marker right there and right there. That's fine. But if not, now the next portion of our scarf, this is the bow or in the loops, the knot in the loops. This is the body. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to continue on with your 12 stitches of half double crochet for 25 inches from this point, from where you joined it, not from the beginning, from where you joined it. So if you do need to put a stitch marker here, go right ahead, but I need you to lay out enough half rows of half double crochet that you've got 25 inches more from this point here. So if you wanna look at it this way, now we have decreased this, the bow portion, of our scarf now it's 10 inches because we started out with 20 and we folded it in half okay so we have 10 now we have the length a length of 10 inches we're going to be adding 25 inches onto that so if you want to if you if you get confused and you forget that you'd measure it from this point it's going to be 35 inches from the bottom of the, the scarf where the fold is, 35 inches from the fold up to the body, okay? So meet me back here when you have 25 inches from the joining row. See you soon. Okay, fellow crocheters, here we are in our bow tie scarf and we're pretty much on the last part of the crocheting aspect of our project. You have, you started out, let's just recap. 
Started out with 20 inches. We folded it in half down to 10. Um, and I told you after we did that that you needed to do 20 or 25 inches of half double crochet. Okay, so you've got now we've got the body and we've got the bow tie portion of it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the tail. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's chain two and we're just going to do eight, I'm sorry, ten half double crochets. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That means that we have two left. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do what's called a half double decrease or half double two together. So let's wrap our yarn around and let's insert our hook into the next stitch just like we would and then wrap our yarn around pull through just like we would but now we're not going to do the last part of that half double. We're going to wrap our yarn around again. We're going to stick it in the next stitch or the last stitch, pull through and wrap around and pull through all the loops. Okay. And not to fear because we're going to do this last part together if I can get this knot out of the yarn. Do you hate it when you do that? It's like you pull out your yarn, you're ready to go, and something like that silly happens. Okay, no worries. We got this. We got this. Okay, so let's crochet two. So now we decreased one, which means now instead of our 12 stitches, we are working at 11 with 11. So let's do just a regular row of half double crochet across these 11 stitches okay. chain two just like we normally would turn Okie doke. Now we're going to go back and we're going to half double crochet into the first nine stitches. One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we should have two stitches left, which we do. Now we're going to do that half, half double two together. So yarn over, go in, grab your yarn as if you would. Now don't close it like normal. Yarn over. Go into the last stitch. Grab your yarn like over. Now go through all five loops. Okay. Chain two. Now we should be down to ten stitches. Let's see how we're decreasing here. Okay, so let's turn and now we're just going to do a row of half double crochet into those 10 stitches. Chain 
chain two and turn okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the first eight stitches two with our half double crochet three four five six seven and eight I'm sorry excuse me seven stitches I'm so sorry guys go into the first seven stitches one two three four five six and one more is seven I don't know what I was thinking there I miscounted seven stitches now we should have two stitches left okay so we're just going to go into let me just start this over I sorry I lost my count here one two three four five, eight, yeah nine ten I was right the first time never second guess yourself I guess I'm so sorry so yes because we should have ten stitches because we've just decreased two rows okay or yeah one two three four five six seven eight yes we have two stitches left so we're gonna just do our decrease okay right in there as if we were gonna do that half double crochet yarn over again insert your hook into the last stitch pull through and yarn over all five loops chain two and turn okay now we are down to we should be down to one two three four five six seven eight nine stitches and that's correct we're, we're gonna just go ahead and the pattern is pretty simple we're just decreasing by one stitch every other row and then the on the row that we're not decreasing we're just doing a row of half double crochet okay, chain two and turn when it gets long it's always fun isn't it all right one two whoops three four five and six because we should be and seven because we should be down to nine stitches so we're going to go ahead and we're going to just do that half double crochet two together excuse me sorry okay chain two turn and see how we're see how we're doing this we're actually going to form we're going to come down to one stitch and that's what forms the point of your tail and that's what makes this look the way it does okay so let's just keep going we're just going to keep crocheting two with our half double three I'll get some more yarn here four five six seven and eight and if you get confused just remember we're only decreasing on the one side we're not decreasing this side is straight this is the the one side that we're de decreasing on so if you start to like go oh, gosh what am I doing that's okay and if you want the written pattern it's it's there's a link below that that goes to this that's on our website if you need the written pattern for this that's fine I understand um, the written pattern will be uh, on our website 
and that'll give you instead of just inches it'll give you rows and it'll give you more details on, on how to make this really cool piece okay so we've done three so far so we're gonna do four five and six and now we're just gonna do our half double two together we're going to go through all five loops, chain two, turn. And now we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. So when we're when we're moving away from our decrease row, our decrease side, we just do that half double crochet. So we're at seven stitches right now. So we're just going to do our decrease with seven. Or, I'm sorry, we're just going to go across with our seven stitches. Chain two, turn. Turn our work. It always gets more difficult when you when you get longer, doesn't it? It's just like, okay. Well, that's okay. That means we got a scarf going here. One. Two, three, four, five, because we only have seven stitches left, so we're going to do that one, and then the two together, chain two, turn, turn our work. Okay, so now we should be down to six stitches. See how that's coming along? Isn't that cool? I love simple decrease and increase. It's pretty awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was too lazy, guys, to wind the ball. I'm sorry. And these balls, they just don't. The only thing about this yarn is, is that it doesn't come out of the center, so you got to wind it if you want it in a ball. And I just didn't want to do that because I was trying to make this video so that I could get it out for you guys because I want to make more free patterns for people. Okay, so now we're coming to our next decrease. So we're going to do our half double until the last two stitches. Three. Four. Last two together which means now we have five stitches left. Wow, we're really moving along here. Chain two, turn. Half double crochet across. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Chain two, turn. Oops, I just, we're not doing a front loop there. <laughs> One, two, three. Now we're going to actually be down to four stitches. We just did our half double crochet together. Chain two, turn. Now we're down to four stitches. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so we're going to do... One, two, three, and four. Chain two, turn. One, okay, two. Now we got to do two together. Okay, chain two. Now we've only got three stitches left. So we're going to go right across those three as we normally would. One, two, three. Okay, chain two. 
Now we're just going to do one half double. Okay, and we're going to do these last two stitches together. One, two, two, chain two. It's getting a little fidgety to turn this thing here because it's so long. Okay, so now we've only got two stitches left. So what we have to do is our two together, okay, and that gives us one stitch left, and that's just where we want to be. So with one stitch on the bottom, go ahead and chain one. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we are going to put a border on this. Okay, so in order for us to do that, we need to, we're going to single crochet all the way up the edge of this. And I want you to do that. And then I want you to stop once you get to this point because we're going to go over how to do that together. Because you're going to, instead of just crocheting really um, there, you're going to kind of be crocheting in the round. So go ahead and I'll start it out and then we'll meet back here um, when you get to that point. But first, like I said, you wanted to chain one. Now you've only got one stitch left. So go ahead and single crochet again back into that last stitch. Okay, now we're not going up the decrease side, guys. We're going up the, the straight edge, the straight side. Okay, so and I'll, I'll, I'll start us out with that. So we've done one in the same stitch. Now what we do, all we want to do is we want to just give each row a single crochet. Now listen, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, just identify your rows. See, there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And just make sure that each one gets one stitch. But what I don't want you to do is I want you to have a nice straight stitch so I don't want it to go wonky on you, which when you're... Putting borders on rows, it's real easy for that to happen, unfortunately. Um, and if you're a beginner, it might seem a little harder than what it really is, but once you've done it a couple times, you're going to get it, and it's so easy. Just don't crochet too loosely or too tightly, and just make sure you get you know, your stitches into each row. Okay, so we've got a row here. We've got a row here. We're just going to single crochet, and just relax. Don't, for goodness sakes, do tight. Don't do tight. Okay, but make sure that there's going to be, what's going to happen is, you know you're getting it right. When, see, there's your chain two space there, but see then the next one is actually, the next row is actually a stitch, okay? And that's because when we go back and forth, back and forth, the one side has the chain two on the one that you're working on, and then when you move up one, it doesn't have the chain two because you had turned, if that makes sense. So what you're going to find, and it's easy once you figure it out, is at some point you're actually going right into the space, um, which is the chain two turning chain of that row. And then you're not going to go into a space because you want to get every row. So when you don't go into a space, just make sure that you go into those two loops. And see how flat that is? That's flat. Nothing pulling that. It's not wonky, and it won't be wonky as long as you get it into each one. Each space. And each stitch. And always go through two loops. See, I almost went through... Almost went through just one right there. It's it's never good to go through one loop because it just it just won't work. It just looks yucky. Okay, and the reason I was doing that is because I was going into the wrong area. Okay, so it's it like I said, it's very easy and see how straight that is. It's not pulling, nothing weird is happening with it. It's just all good. And this just cleans up your edge. Okay? Alright, so make sure, like I said, that you go into both. Whoops, see how I did that? That was wrong. Go in to get two loops, pick up two loops, and do your single crochet. 
and then go into that chain two space. And I promise you'll have a very nice straight, flat edge border. All right, meet me back here when you've gotten your border up to, right up to the joining row. And we'll talk about how we're gonna do that when we get up there. See you in a few. Okay, so we have reached our joining row. And now what we are going to do is we are just going to go right into that, that first row and just kind of like join your circle a little bit more tighter. So what I did was I just hit the first stitch over here and the first stitch over here. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing. But we're just going to crochet on the back side first. We're just going to go into each row just like we did before. Okay. To the chain two. Into the next row. And we're just single crocheting all the way around that initial 20 inches just to give us a nice border. And this is what we want. We want our row or we want our edges looking nice and neat, but we don't want them pulling. So we're just going to continue doing this going around. And see we're getting a nice smooth clean border we're just turning those we're just turning those edges where we turned into something that looks nice nice and lovely and again this is going to form the the tails and the knot so we want it to look we want it to look good this is really an easy pattern. Um, it's not too terribly time consuming. At least I don't think it is. Uh, you could definitely do this if you're if you're a, a you know a crocheter that can go you know at a decent pace. I mean, there's no reason that you can't get this thing done in a day. Maybe two if you're just really going at it like slowly and in a relaxed mode. But you know, sometimes we our hearts are bigger than. What's what is really in reality? I know. I think I can make like I made five of these in two days, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that!" I really. My husband was like, "What are you doing?" I had a family function to go to, and I just I over I underestimated um, how many people were going to be there, how many women were going to be there specifically, because this is definitely a woman's scarf. Uh, no men in my life want to wear this thing. And so I just, there were a couple extras there. And so I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I got to hurry up and make all these. And, you know, these are great for gifts. I mean, people really like them. And it's such a unique design. And no one will ever know how easy it was, really, truly. It just, it's crazy how easy this was. Okay. All right. So now we are right at that joining row so I want you to go right in the center of that okay and do a single crochet and then go into that first stitch from the very beginning and do a slip stitch and see now this is all together okay and see how it's not pulling it's still very straight very smooth none of my stitches are really too tight and that's exactly how you want it to look Okay, you can go ahead and fasten this off. And once you've done that, meet me back here because we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do the other edge. Okay, all right, see you in a few. Okay, so you have fastened off this side of your scarf, the de the, the straight edge side. Now we're gonna go and do the decrease side, but I just want to show you where to join. 
Okay, this is just going to be like the other one. We're just going to do a um, border of single crochet. And we want to make sure that we get right into the right into the both loops. So locate for me, please, the row that you joined in. Get that right in there. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to start on this side. Where, where did I go here? It's late and I was just trying to get this done and it's not cool to be hurrying up. Okay, so what you're going to do is just join your yarn by finding that stitch where the row that you joined was and then go ahead and just do a single crochet or a chain stitch, okay, and then make sure that you pull that. You don't want it really loose. Okay, when, when I do this, when I join the yarn, I just go ahead and hold the both of them while I'm, because you usually always go into the same stitch. So just go into the same stitch, but just make sure that you don't uh, crochet with your, with your tail there. And then go ahead and do a single crochet. And there's our tail. And what we're gonna do, guys, is I am not into weaving tails. I don't know about you all, but I just hate that. It's nobody likes it. We just wish that we had a fairy that would just come along and just weave our tails for us. But we don't. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right over this tail. We're gonna single crochet and see how I'm just I'm just laying that right on the top there, and I'm just gonna crochet with my single crochet border, just like I did with the other one, right around it. Okay, all right, let's just keep going and we'll get to this tail and then I'm gonna meet you back. And we'll, we'll, do, we'll go ahead and we'll do this round together then and um, we will, we're not gonna do the edge together because you guys can, can do this. But I'm just gonna do this uh, single crochet around the loop. Really, that's what this is, the loop part of the bow. Yeah, just keep going. And if that's really bugging you, I don't know, some people it bothers, some people it doesn't, but just go ahead and snip that off. And you've got that tail, uh, you've, you've crocheted right over that tail, so that's just one less thing to worry about, right? Okay, let's keep going. We're on this row. We need to get into this row. And again, guys, we're just doing that same old single crochet, really easy, easy peasy. Don't pull tight. Please don't pull tight. Please don't do that. I never understood why people crochet so tight. Some people just like I have a friend and I tried to teach him how to crochet and the guy was just like, you know, <laughs> and I just, I thought, oh my goodness, that's that's so frustrating. It's just, it, crocheting is supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be fun. And this poor guy he was just trying too hard, I think. But he ended up getting it, making a couple of, um, making a couple of things for his wife, which was really nice. And I just, I thought that that was really cool that I had a guy that wanted to know how to do that. Okay, all right, so let's keep going. I'm just single crocheting into every row. Remember on the ones that, you know, are not the chain two row, you just wanna go into both loops and then on the chain two row, you're basically going into the space. So it's really easy. Just keep it not loose where it's loosey goosey, but just keep it nice and loose where it's, it's not pulling on anything. And like I said, guys, all we're doing is just going right around. Just going right around. Okay. Well, guess what? That was a fast round. We're there. All right, so let's do the same thing. And we're just going to we're just going to crochet and we've just reached that last, so I'm going to crochet into that one little join stitch right there. Okay, then into the first stitch that I did, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And see, that's what I say by, I mean, don't crochet tight, because boy, oh boy, I couldn't even imagine. Trying to get into that sucker if you crochet too tight. Okay, see, we've got a nice border. Nothing's pulling. Everything is nice. 
And now all you're going to do is you're just going to go down this, the decreased side of your, uh, of your scarf. You're going to go down all the way down. And once you get to the row that you decreased on, you do want to put two single crochets into that row, that first row that you decreased on. Remember after we made the 25 inches, it's right there. Um, if I'm sorry if some of you can't find it, but you should be able to find it because look, this is so easy. I should have told you guys maybe to put a stitch marker there for the really, really beginners, but that's okay. You got this. It's okay. You can see it's straight and then all of a sudden it starts to decrease. It's right there. And that's the one that you just want to put. You just put two single crochets in there. That way it will define it. If you don't, it's really no big deal either way. But if you really want it to look professional, just put your two in there so that you um, put your two in there. If you didn't see that, I'm sorry if I was too high up. Put your two in that, in that row where we decreased so that it just looks really defined. Okay, I'll meet you back when you're done with this edge. Okay, we are back and we are again in our in our bottom stitch here. So what I want you to do before you fasten off is, and make sure you've got your scissors, go ahead and just chain one and then go right back into that last, in that first stitch there. Okay, and that's going to make it a nice point. All right, go ahead, we're going to fasten off. And with our yarn needle, we're just going to weave that tail. Okay, for the next segment, which is the construction segment, I need you to make sure that you have the following things. Okay, don't forget to weave your tail. If you don't weave it, then just weave it. You know, you're going to have to weave it at some point anyway. Okay, you're going to need a yarn needle. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need just a little bit of yarn. Probably about, I don't know, a yard maybe at the most. Um, you're going to need some stitch markers. These are my stitch markers. They're kind of fancy, but if yours don't look like that, that's okay. Still get some stitch markers. And you know what else will work? A safety pin will also work if you don't have stitch markers. Okay, and then you're definitely going to need a measurement tape. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's gather these things and make sure, like I said, we've got about a yard of yarn, 36 inches. Again, a pair of scissors, stitch marker, yarn needle, measuring tape, and of course, our scarf. All right, make sure you've got those things and meet me back here. Hi, fellow crocheters. It's Janet with CrochetPatternsForBeginners.com. Thanks for stopping by. We are going to finish our bow tie project today and what we're going to do is we're going to do the final step which is the construction. Um, this is the last part and I'm pretty excited for you guys because you're going to have a, an amazing scarf. Okay we talked about before how when we first started out the bow part of our scarf was 20 inches. We folded it in half and we proceeded with the pattern. And so now we have 10 inches and that's from the fold. So what you want to do is take your measuring tape, make sure you're on that um, infinity scarf portion or the cowl portion of, of your scarf and locate the center. And the center will be at the 5 inch mark. Okay, so go ahead and with a stitch marker or if you have safety pins, you're going to need three for this, um, go ahead and just mark the center with a stitch marker or a safety pin. Okay, then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and mark from that five, from that five, one inch over to the right and one inch over to the left. So you're actually marking the six and the four. Okay. Now what you're doing with this is you are making the channel and the channel is what runs the tail. You run the tail through the channel that forms the bow 
and it's the it ends up being what it looks to be the knot. Now you can take out that center stitch marker because you've marked out the sides that was most important. Sorry about that guys. Okay all right and then remember I said in the other segment that you needed about a yard of uh, yarn. So go ahead and grab that and thread it through your yarn needle. Okay. So we've got that taken care of. All right, let's take our let's take this away. And what we're going to do, so we're just going to make sure that our piece is flat. Okay, and then we're going to take and we're going to do our yarn needle through the back and the front at that four inch space. Then we can remove this stitch marker. Look what happens. I'm just a fumble bunny today. I'm sorry about this, guys. Okay, all right, so we've done that. So let's go ahead and let's just, we're going to just go ahead and tie that. Just once, not a bow tie, but just, you know, a knot. Okay, now you can see that this is the line for your channel. Then just go ahead in and out through the back all the way. Make sure you're getting both pieces and we're just doing a very simple running stitch that we're going to gather. Just stay in your lane and stay on that row. all the way down okay doke all right we've got it all the way through our line and we're just gonna pull that and see we we're forming see how we're forming a loop there and that's exactly what we want it to do you know it gets a little trickier on the way back but not really too hard go ahead and make sure that you go right back so that You've got the bottom so that closes up. Okay, now you see this is our stitch right here that we did. So what we want to do is we want to go, we want to go underneath that stitch because it's already on the top. So you're basically doing the opposite. Okay, so there we go with that. And we're just gonna go right up that channel, staying in our lane, going right up that channel with a running stitch just in and out, in and out, back and forth through both layers and just give it a little tug as you go because you're going to want to form that bow. Okay, and we're almost there. So easy. Okay, now go ahead and give it a tight tug and then secure it again. By tying it okay see you have formed if you're looking at it you formed your left loop of your bow easy peasy okay go ahead and cut that I probably should have left that tail a little bit longer you guys can leave that a little bit longer if you don't weaving tails is always something that nobody likes to do but you know we have to do it so that's okay all right let's go ahead and let's make our last channel. Okay, here's our lane right here. So we need to stay in our lane and we need to do the same thing. Start right at the top where the stitch marker is. And that would be, that would have been your uh, six inch mark from the fold or one inch to the right from the center. Go ahead and do the same exact thing. Just make a tie. I'm going to make this, this tail a little bit longer. Okay. All right. There's my row. I'm going through both. And I'm just going in and out, in and out, in and out. And I'm forming a channel. Super easy. And I'm going to gather it as I go. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead, like I said, and we're going to just finish this last channel. We've gone in and out, in and out. We're on the second channel now. We're going to pull it and make sure that we're 
going all the way around into both back and front. It's kind of thick, so just feel with your fingers as you're doing this little simple running stitch that you're going through both, and then give it a tug about somewhere in the middle. And see, now we've formed that lovely channel, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's give this a secure tie. Very secure. Tie it twice. With our scissors, we're going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay. And I'm not going to weave the tails on the video. Um, I'm just going to show you how the scarf works. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail end, the end that we decreased, and you're going to run it through. You just only have to do this once. Um, you're just going to run it through this channel here that you made by sewing both ends together. Once you find it, it's not that hard. Okay, and then just pinch it, pull it through. And of course, this part right here. And like I said, once you do this, you just probably want to leave it and then you can adjust it because it is like a lariat scarf. Um, it's adjustable through, through that. So you can get it on your neck and adjust it at that point and then just put it up, pop it on over and you know over your head. And you have a really cute uh, little, not little, but nice and warm bow tie scarf. Okay guys, thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you want the written pattern for this project, please stop by our website, which is crochetpatternsforbeginners.com. And just go ahead in the search engine and look up um, free bow tie scarf. And if you want the written pattern, there is a cost for that. It's nominal. Uh, we don't charge as much as we normally charge for our um, our regular patterns when we do a free pattern. So it's 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 only two ninety nine. But go ahead and if you want the written pattern, grab your pattern. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you make something meaningful. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a blessed day.